Sheila? You okay? Sheila? Oh, hi Sheila, you're awake. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we appear to be in some kind of a jail cell? All I remember is getting attacked by a troll and then now I guess we're waking up here in this jail cell. It doesn't really look like there's any way out of here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Looks like we have a cellmate, Sheila. I'm so glad I finally have someone to talk to in this dark and dreary damp cell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? Hey, did that giant troll trap you and throw you in here as well? Oh, yes. Tiny. Tiny the troll? I don't know if tiny is the way I would describe him. Well, that's tiny. Tiny does all the dirty work for that mean Giselle. <gasps> Giselle. Yeah, that's actually why we're here. We're trying to remodel our house, and Giselle is causing all kinds of problems for us. We really need to find her and talk to her. So, why are you in here? Well, I discovered that Giselle was attending WPCLBMM. WP, okay, w what's that? Wilma's Polite Center for Incurably Bad-Mannered Minifigs. Giselle's attending a manor school? Why would she want to improve her manners? She likes being mean and having bad manners. Well, I really don't know. But either way, I found out and she threw me in here so that I couldn't tell anyone. And I really don't know why. I've never done a bad thing in my life. Well, except go back for second, thirds, and fourth servings of mashed potatoes at the Golden Brick Corral, and maybe running into a few curbs since I can't see very well when I drive. But otherwise, I've been a very well law-abiding citizen. Okay, my friend. Well, I'm sorry that you're here in jail, but we really do have to get out of here and find Giselle. So we gotta find a way to escape. Oh, wait. Sheila? That's just a fence prop. We can bust that. I wouldn't recommend that. Why not? It's fine. See, look. Now we're out of here. Let's go, Sheila. Run. I don't know what he's talking about, Sheila. We totally escaped. Well, you can stay there in that jail if you want, buddy, but we... <gasps> oh no, Sheila. I think... It's Tiny. Oh. Hi, Tiny. Maybe we can sneak past him, Sheila. Hey, you! You get back in your cell! I may have tiny legs, but I know how to use them! Oh no, Sheila! He saw us run! Careful, Sheila. <gasps> there he is! Oh no! Sheila! <gasps> Oh, Sheila, are you okay? <sighs> well, we did try to escape. Who knew that would happen? Well, I tried to tell you. Even if you break the bars and escape, you still have a large, not such a tiny problem. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Uh-oh. Speaking of which, there's Tiny out there. <sighs> Sheila, it's gonna be really hard to escape now. Look at those yellow hearts. Well, the only way we could get past Tiny is with a yellow or gold weapon, which we definitely don't have. Well, I don't have any yellow weapons, but I do have this battle sword. You had a battle sword this whole time? That's yellow, gold, yellow, same thing. Uh, can we borrow that sword, please? Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, Sheila, it's time to go into battle sword mode and escape this horrible prison cell. Oh, there's Tiny. Hey, Tiny, what's going on? Hey, I have a not-so-tiny weapon now, so you better watch out because Sheila knows how to use these battle swords. All right, my friend, follow me. We're gonna go out and we're going to defeat Tiny. Oh, hey, Tiny, how's it going? Oh my gosh, get him, Sheila, hurry, get him. Go. Come on, Sheila. Go. You got him, you got him, you got him, yes. Nicely done, Sheila. Now that is a true master builder slash uh, ninja. Right, Sheila? <sighs> All right, Sheila, now we gotta find Giselle. Hey, friend, do you mind showing us where Giselle is? Well, that's no problem. As long as you'll show me where the nearest all-you-can-eat buffet is, I wanna pop out my dentures and eat some delicious mashed potatoes and canned gravy. 
mashed potatoes and canned gravy. Sounds absolutely delicious. Uh, okay. Lead the way, my friend. If I'm not mistaken, Wilma's polite center for incurably bad-mannered minifigs is right up this way. Okay, we're right behind you. So, uh, who's Wilma, anyway? Wilma! Hi, Fred. Wilma's a cave woman that runs the best darn manners school in the entire LEGO World's universe. Hello, welcome to Wilma's polite center for incurably bad-mannered minifigs. Hi, are you Wilma? I'm sure you meant to say, hello, how do you do? I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Whatever, look, no one likes me and it's super annoying. I'm here so I can learn how to trick people into thinking I'm nice so they'll do what I say. My dear, you've come to the right place. I'm sure I can help you. Fine. How long is this going to take? I got to get back home so I can be mean. Uh, uh, I mean, nice to people. Patience, my dear. Patience. Let's begin with a proper introduction. Repeat after me. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> That's not funny, dear. Apparently, we need to work on your sense of humor as well. Now then, repeat after me. Hello, how do you do? My name is Wilma. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. Ugh. Hello, how's it going? My name's Giselle with a Y. I'm sure you're pleased that you know me now. Well, it's a start. Come inside and let's get started, shall we? Uh, yes, we shall. Let's begin with table manners. Be sure to use your steak knife with your right hand, then switch so that your fork is in your right hand and your knife in the left. Chew with your mouth closed and gently place excess gristle on your fork and place it back on your plate. You try. Oh dear. I can see we have a lot of work to do. Are we almost there? We haven't been running for that long. You kids have it easy these days. In my day, we had to walk 15 miles to school in the snow with no shoes. And let me guess, uphill both ways? Sometimes the bus driver would strap us to the front of the bus and yell, keep your mouth closed if you don't want to swallow any bugs. Wait a minute, I thought you said you walked to school. I don't know, it's all a blur. Well, here we are. Wilma's polite center for incurably bad-mannered minifigs. Are you sure this is the right place? Listen, you prehistoric bonehead. Yep, this is it all right. Let's go inside and talk to Giselle. Giselle? You, what are you doing here? Your not-so-tiny troll couldn't keep us locked up. And this nice old man helped us find you. Grandpa, I told you not to tell anyone. Grandpa? You locked up your own grandpa? What? Like people don't do that? No, Giselle with a Y. People don't do that. Giselle, we won't tell anyone about your desire to be nicer if you will just stop trying to prevent us from upgrading the ivory tower. No, damn. I'm tired of seeing that city get bigger and bigger and all those dumb, happy people running around. Oh, look at this awesome city. <laughs> All while my beautiful black tower doesn't get any upgrades. Ah, so that's what it is. You want to upgrade the Tower Noir. Wait a minute. I thought you had a designer already. Uh, we had a difference of opinion, so I fed him to the crocodiles. You, Giselle, are quite awful. It will be an incredible achievement if I can turn you into a well-mannered minifig. Even more amazing than the job I did on that troll. Okay, Giselle, that's fine. We'll help you upgrade the Tower Noir. Just please give us that building permit. Ugh, fine. Here you go. But here's my list of must-have upgrades. A pool, a jacuzzi, open concept floor plan, 10 car garage, a money bin, giant master suite with an ensuite. Lioness entry statues, electric fences, flame traps, granite countertops, copper hood, 
100,000 plus square feet. Satellite TV with 100,000. <laughs>